And this one, we're going to start going into the return, and we're going to, number one, we're going to determine the negative static pressure in the return air right next to the air handler. Now if you look down here, I have my probe into the same place I had it before when I was checking total static pressure. Now I'm just checking return. So let's take a look at what that number is. Okay, we're running between 0.29 and 0.28 on the negative side. That means I have a negative pressure of 0.28 or 9 in the return air. That is the resistance of the entire return air system, including the filter. Now I want you to notice there's only one hose running to this thing. The other hose is left open, so it's open to the atmosphere. So when I say 0.28 or 0.29 negative pressure, that's in comparison to the atmospheric pressure around the uh, instrument. So. The first part I'm going to check is a filter, and to do that, I have to hook up both sides of the manometer. Now you can see I've hooked up this other side of the manometer, and we're showing 0.1314, okay? That's a negative pressure again, and let's see where the other probe is that I have set up for this. Now you can see right down there the red probe, that's in the return, and I have my other probe where it was before in the air handler. So when it's across those two, it's just determining how much pressure drop is across the filter. Now this is a, uh, an electronic air filter, they have a fairly low uh, pressure drop across. I might also indicate while I'm doing this, the pressure drop increases with the volume of air. It's a pretty simple, straightforward concept. The faster the air moves, the more resistance you have in the ductwork or the components of the ductwork. So if I was looking at this to see if there was a problem with it, I'm looking at 0.1314 across this filter. Now, is that good or bad? Well, I'm going to make a couple of comparisons on this, and you can see what happens when I put different types of filters in here. So you can see I have a kind of a medium efficiency uh, pleated filter. I'm going to put that in there in the same uh, spot as where the, I pulled the cells out. And let's see what kind of pressure drop we get from it. Okay, looking at the... Uh, manometer, we've actually got about 10 inches more resistance by putting that pleated filter in there. That, that's getting, that's pretty high. Uh, I'll show you a cheapo filter while I'm at it. Now here we have an El Cheapo brand filter, you know, the one you can see through and all that stuff. Let's see what this one does. Okay, so you can see the El Cheapo filter actually has the lowest drop across the filter media. It's about three or four one hundredths less than uh, the electronic air cleaner. So that actually has a lot lower pressure drop. Uh, this was just to kind of tell you, you know, what different filters do. But this is one of the things that you're going to do to test ductwork. When you have a furnace limiting out, you have a coil freezing up, these are all things you need to do to test this ductwork. You don't have to dig into the system to find dirty things right off. You can pretty much find out what's wrong by using that manometer. Okay, now I'm going to go a little farther here and I'm going to check the rest of this ductwork and see if there's any uh, any parts of this that are not performing well. Now after establishing that we had a specific pressure drop across the filter, I'm going to see if there's any other excessive pressure drops anywhere in this duct system. So 
you can see I have one probe down in the return right next to the furnace. Okay, it's not including the air filter, so we're, we're eliminating the air filter as any pressure drop. But I've taken the other probe and I've stuck it up there. That is essentially determining any pressure drop in this entire drop. So let's see if there is a. Remember, one, one side's on one side of that drop and one side's on the other. So I'm determining the pressure drop across that part. Let's see what we show. Okay, we're showing zero. Now, one other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pop off this probe here so that I can read what the total pressure drop across the return air is. And that will give me an idea of any place in this ductwork that is restrictive at all. So if I pull this off, now I'm showing about 0.15. Okay, that means that trunk line between right down there, which you can, yeah, you can kind of see that, and to the rest of the trunk line, there's a 0.15 drop. So let's look a little farther and see if we can find it. You might want to note, the way we're doing this is kind of hopscotch, similar to tri uh, troubleshooting electrical problems, where we hopscotch from place to place. In this case, I'm going to leave that one probe down there, and I'm going to go through the rest of this ductwork to see if I can find out where there's any drop. I've left the one probe there. And note the other probe is placed into the duct between that bottom piece and here. Now we do have a change in direction on this duct. Let's see if there's any real difference between uh, this place up here and down by the air filter. Again, when I look at this, it's zero, zero. There's no drop between those two. So we have a, if there is a problem in this thing, it's in the trunk line farther down. Now in this case, I've run farther down the duct and let's see where I've actually put this, put this a little perspective. Okay, you can see where I have this between these two. It's a long trunk line, pretty much straight trunk line, and let's see if there's any drop. Okay, you can see we've got 0 .05, 0 .06 for a drop between that distance. So you can see the farther we go, we do actually get a little bit more uh, pressure drop. So we started out with 14 and 15, We've knocked off five or six off of this, so there's only one tenth left, and that's in the rest of the ductwork. I'm not going to go through the rest of the duct ductwork. I'm just trying to show you how you would do this. So this is a way that you can determine if there's a ductwork problem. The next one we're going to go into is we're going to check out the supply and see if there's any restrictions in the supply duct. That's it on this one.